What's up, everybody? Welcome to Married with Media Hello. Live. I'm Ken. And I'm Michelle. And we're ready to talk about Chucky. Are you ready to talk about Chucky tonight? Yep, I'm ready. Let me Why don't turn... You turn the phone down. I know. I always, I always do that. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, so um, we're here on this Saturday evening. Yep. Yep. Ken just got home from his... My ninth day of work okay. in a row. Feels like millionth <laughs> day. I feel good. I, I feel good. I've got a few more to go. So. Just a few, just a few. So yeah, he's uh, leaving me, you know, to hold down the the fort with the kids and all that. So you're doing a spectacular job. Yeah, I'm really missing his help, but anyway. Yeah. So yeah, what's what's everybody up to tonight? Yeah. Any fun plans? Obviously, we want to talk about Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what we're up to. Yeah. On the weekend. <laughs> We're going to talk about Chucky. We're going to talk about all the episodes, um, if we can remember all the episodes. But I do have them yeah, all here them yeah. on the phone. And then we're just going to talk about, you know, maybe like our favorite characters, your favorite moments. Um, but what we really did this stream for is to interact with you guys. We want to talk about it with you all. Uh, so if you have any thoughts on this season of Chucky, did you like it? Did you not like it? Was it disappointing? Yeah. Did it live up to your expectations? Start letting us know in the chat. And yeah, just just have a casual conversation with you guys out there about the show. So 4K Media Guy, he was in there early and he was uh, said he enjoyed listening to our reviews after every uh, episode. And he says, hey, guys, I enjoyed your guys' reviews after each episode. So thank you for checking those out. And he said, what did, you, what did you guys think of the explosion at Tiffany's house? Did Kyle die? So I guess we should... Go ahead and say that this is going to be spoilers. Definitely spoiler. Um, a lot of spoilers. <laughs> Not spoiler free. So, yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna spoil the heck out of this thing. Yeah, um, you kind of have to, you know. I just yeah, you kind of have to. I don't know how you don't, but yeah. So Kyle, I this is something that I did actually want to discuss in our finale episode, but I thought that you know we had talked about enough, um, and I didn't really want to spoil that moment, so yeah, I didn't really go into it. Yeah, and sometimes when you're doing those reviews, you know, I think our type of the review we style it, yeah. is just kind of what comes to mind. And so we might not necessarily cover every little thing. Although I feel like I'm more inclined to do a complete scene by scene yeah. recap and can kind of... Um, Tells me that it's just too much, I think. <laughs> so, it's too much I, for a video. It's not too much for a live stream, though. Yeah, I mean, you know... I just a say lot that because I, I have to edit it. So. Well, yeah, but if you don't have to do too much to it, it's not a big deal. But a lot yeah. of people don't want to watch, you know, a 20, yeah. 20 plus minute video of somebody talking about an episode. But yeah, um, but yeah, I don't know. So obviously that scene is jumping quite a bit ahead. Yes, yeah, so um, it's the, the finale. The but, finale. You know, we can we can but, move around. Can, yeah, but that, around. that's fine. We're going to keep it super cash here. But so, yeah, um, if you watch the show, you know that they brought back Andy and Kyle. Yeah. Um, I forget what episode that they were introduced in. It was uh, it was fairly I think it was after four. I think it was episode five. It was later on. Well, yeah. So um, we got we got a conversation. Um, I don't think it was on the six, phone. but I do think it was five. There was a phone conversation with Andy and Jake. Um, but then we didn't see uh, Andy for quite a few more episodes later. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so anyway, you know, in the finale, there's the scene where um, Andy and Kyle, you know, they're, what did you, what did you call them? It was episode five that they showed up. Oh, okay. Yeah. But what did you call like Andy and Kyle, like how they were trying to go around and. They were basically like, like a Chucky, Chucky assassin. They were like Chucky hitmen. Yeah. Like yeah. assassins. They were, yeah. So the they're like. On the Chuckies. They've been going around trying to kill all these Chucky dolls and. You know, Jake had reached out to them, and so they were uh, like making their way to Jake. Yeah. And so they make a Andy and Kyle make a pit stop. Well, I guess I'm I'm kind of like I'm doing what I do, and you're I'm, all over the place. I'm recapping it. What, like, what do you think about Kyle dying? Answer the question. I know, but I was like trying to talk <laughs> about how we got there. <laughs> we got there's four episodes to talk about how we got there. Yeah, but anyway, so. They didn't show us 
Kyle dying, they just showed the house exploding. And yeah. we did get to see Andy after the explosion. So we know for sure Andy is not dead. Yeah. But they did not show Kyle again. And so honestly, I could really not give a crap well, if Kyle's dead or not. I don't yeah. care. I don't care enough yeah. about her character to And to be honest, I, I like Kyle and, and Child's play too. Um, but she the actress I don't think has been acting in a lot of movies. She she wasn't very good. Well, neither was Andy. Show. But neither was Andy. Either. Yeah. But you kind of, I, I understand why you keep Andy around. I mean, it's Andy. Um, yeah. But yeah, Ky Kyle, the, the actress, uh, which uh, name, Ky Elise, Christine Elise, is that it? Somebody correct me. Yeah, I, I think it's something along those lines. But um, yeah, you could tell she hadn't been acting in a few years. So. Yeah. But yeah, I just don't, I don't really, I don't care one way or the other, really. Uh, I don't think it's like vital that she continue to be a part of the series and i don't really think that it's vital for andy to be a part of it i think it was just a good like callback to the movies yeah. um and i really you know even though andy was alive at the end and he's kind of carrying us into the second season that we know is going to happen i don't really anticipate him um really lasting that much longer into the series though yeah so there you go i don't, I don't really we'll care see. but what about you um, so they said that there but do was I think some, she's dead? yeah, do you think she's dead? I they kinda, said, they I, said there were some fatalities on the news. They said there were fatalities. So who would have yeah. died if, if she didn't die? Yeah, I, I, I think she's dead. I'm thinking she's dead. like, because, um, Devin made it out. Andy made it out. Mm -hmm. So if somebody didn't, somebody had to die. Yeah. So wasn't she the only other one in there? Wasn't that the only three in the house when it exploded or was there someone else? I'm pretty sure it was just those. Yeah, three. I think that was it. So if there was fatalities, then she would have had to have died. Yep. Um, but yeah, but. I don't know. Anything could happen, obviously. You know? Yeah. Maybe Kyle jumped into a doll of her own and she'll show up in the next season. Oh, way. gosh. Yeah, that's who knows. Possibility. Uh, was Jay uh, was Junior redeemed in your opinion? Um, I don't know. That's a tough one. He was being a little shit in those last two episodes. So I, don't... I mean, he, he was a. I didn't really like his much, character from yeah. the beginning anyway. So I was kind of happy that they made him the bad guy. I think that made him a little bit more interesting because mm -hmm. I didn't really think he was that interesting of a character like the whole show until he right. had his little um, evil turn there in, in episode seven where he beat his dad to death with Chucky doll. But yeah, I don't know. I and guess, I mean, I don't know. It was still kind of hard for me to buy that. If you can buy um, Kylo Ren being redeemed after killing Harrison Ford. Uh, I guess I can buy Junior being redeemed. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, don't know. I, I, I guess. I they guess. both killed their fathers. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I guess. I would say I guess he was redeemed. Yeah, sure. Somewhat. <laughs> Somewhat. Somewhat. Redeemed. Um, but let's see. What was your guys' reaction to Tiffany Doll showing up in the delivery truck? Are you excited to see more of her? Yeah, um, I definitely am, you know, and I'm not the biggest Bride of Chucky fan, but, uh, yeah. you know, I feel like <laughs> I you kind of. I think we all know that about you. You kind of have. literally don't shut up It's about not it. that I don't, <laughs> no, I don't shut up about Halloween. But Bride of Chucky is just mm. something that kind of came into the picture recently. But um, it's not that I don't like it or like strongly dislike it. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's okay. Mm -hmm. and But it just like represents the downfall of the franchise for me. Mm, okay. So, well, uh, yeah, I mean, I was anticipating that doll to show up. Um, and I think it was cool how she showed up at the very end. Mm -hmm. Like she, she wants the gun at Andy. Yeah. She was on the truck and uh, full of the Chucky dolls. And um, so you I, like I really wasn't expecting her to be on there. But I think that that was a cool way to have her pop in. And she's basically got Andy held hostage driving the truck because Andy thinks he's going to like take all these dolls and I guess probably blow it up or something. So, but now Tiffany or. So again, and somebody correct me in the chat, um, mm -hmm. but I, it's been a while since I've seen cult. So we know that Chucky split his soul into like 85 different dolls, but did Tiffany do the same thing? And the, is she now like have the same conscious as like herself and then like her real self and then the doll? Cause like, as soon as Andy took off in the truck, like mm -hmm. she acted like she was upset about it. Did she not know that Tiffany was in the back of that pickup truck? Yeah, I don't know. Was that a part of her plan? Yeah, I don't I don't, I don't know either. I don't know. So uh Owen Movie says, Hello, what's up, Owen Movies? How are you doing? Uh Movies and Train Studio says, Hi, I'm Chucky. I'm your friend to the end. 
Heidi yes. Ho. Yes, he is. Uh, I thought uh, what they did to Nika was too far and pretty much ruined a character thoughts. Yeah, what they did with Nika was very annoying. Yeah. How they and cut again, off her arms and legs. Yeah. Well, is that what you're talking about? Or just like her throughout the whole show? I mean, the I whole, think like, it's what they did was too far and pretty much ruined her character. Like she literally has no limbs now. So I would assume they're talking about that. <laughs> yeah, but Nika had couldn't walk anyway. So what does it matter? Did no, they no, take no. her but hands now, her? But now Chucky can't do anything. Oh, can't control her. I mean, I, I mean, thought it was... I mean, he can control her, but he literally has no arms and legs to use now. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's basically like a almost worthless... I thought it was a pretty good play on Tiffany's part. I was happy that they let her character do something kind of devious like that, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Um, I just thought it was kind of... Uh, I don't know. I didn't think it was like that shocking or... No, definitely or, I wouldn't say shocking. I mean, it was more of just like, okay, well. Okay. I mean, Nika, I'm not like closely that closely attached to anyone. No. And um, I don't love the whole like them going back and forth anyway. Like yeah. it being Chucky, then it being Nika. And yeah. I don't know. I don't love that part of it. Uh, Owen Movie 75 says Junior was actually one of my favorite characters. Wow. Okay. That's a hot take. Well, he definitely had a <laughs> had an interesting character arc. So uh, let's see. OMG, in, Mary with Media in the flesh. Yes, we are here. <laughs> Feel our flesh. In the flesh. I got kind of weird. Uh, Movies and Train Studio says, I wasn't a huge fan of the show. It was good, but pretty disappointing. I think I'd give it a 3.25 out of 5 as a final score. So, yeah, we can get into, like, final thoughts. I think we talked about this in the last episode, but I, overall, I enjoyed the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I enjoyed it. I was definitely enjoyed it more than I thought I would. So, right. I was pretty happy with it overall. And that's the benefit of sometimes going in with very low expectations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sometimes they exceed them. So, I don't know. I'd say we would collectively probably give it a four out of a five because we gave every episode probably between an eight and nine. Yeah. With a, I think I think four out of five is um, probably accurate for me. Like it's not like I was expecting this. I don't know. Like with Chucky, you know, you're not expecting this like masterpiece and yeah, going with the proper context and knowing what it is. Yeah, like. I didn't love everything for sure, but like I like I liked enough of it and I thought that it did its job and was a lot of fun. And so for me, like I was happy. Yeah. So uh, Turner Melancholy says, I hope all is well. I'm laying in bed watching you too. My back is killing me. Aww. Chucky was OK, but could have been better. Well, I hope you feel better, man. Yeah, my back's killing me as well. Yeah. Um, Sorry, and I have you no getting fun. on me for bringing my chair in here. I know he has to, you probably can't see it, but he has I, to have this fancy ass chair that it's takes up the whole, my office. the whole screen and pushes me over here <laughs> to the side. Oh gosh. I'm sorry. Got to fight to be in the frame. Uh, Jennifer too. Tilly always gives a great performance. Yeah, she does. She's a little bit over the top sometimes. Yeah. I like it. I mean, I liked her in Bride of Chucky. She's good Definitely at. Definitely better than the sequels. She's good at being that character. Yeah, I didn't know until um, this uh, TV, the, till that episode we just watched that she was actually nominated for an Oscar, I think in 97 or something. Oh, wow. Uh, 96. I forget the movie already, but I looked it up on IMDb and sure enough, she was. Interesting. Uh, for supporting actress. But I'm playing catch up on Hawkeye currently and going to watch Parasite once I finish watching episode three. Parasite's a great film, and we have not watched Hawkeye yet. So. Yeah, I don't plan on it. And I, yeah, I probably wouldn't expect any Hawkeye reviews. No. It's something I don't even feel like watching, and I'm a, I'm, I would consider myself a somewhat Marvel fan. Yeah, I'm kind of over all those spinoffs and stuff. It's Plus, just, I've, just, I've heard mediocre things about it, so it's like that just doesn't entice me. Either. It looks very... I don't know. Corny. <laughs> uh, Owen Movie 75 says, Andy was a badass, was badass in the finale. Ha ha. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. He saved the day. Uh, Kyle is great. She's freaking awesome in Child's Play too. And yes, her actress's name is Christina Lee. All right. Awesome. I got it right. Uh, to be honest, everyone's acting was bad except Chucky's daughter. Uh, who's Chucky's daughter? You talking about Nika? Yeah. Okay. I, I would say that... Um, that's what I think they're saying. Yeah. I don't know. Is there anybody else that you could point to 
as far as like being good performance rise? Um, I thought that um, Devin Sawa did a pretty good job. Yeah, he was good. Um, you know, he wasn't like in it a ton. Um, but he played two characters. I mean, I thought um, I thought Devin was pretty good. Yeah, Devin. Yeah. Would you say that, or are you just saying that? He was fine. I thought all the kids were fine. And I mean, the girl, what was her name? Lexi? Yeah, she was. That was a Lexi good performance. was lucky. Like, I I can't talk. Lucky. Lexi. I didn't 100% buy her, like, going from complete bitch to just super nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, genuine person, like, so fast. But. Yeah. But yeah, I would say, like, Devin and Lexi were probably the best of the the kids. I liked Jake, but like he he wasn't great. And like that face that he always made just Can you really do that face. He was just always like Chucky. Oh like I can't even do it. It was just always like he smelt something. It wasn't me. It was Chucky. <laughs> what, the <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <sighs> yeah, pretty much the whole time. He was yeah. all right though. I, it's right. like I still liked him, but like he he wasn't great. I'll be honest. Episode one, I didn't like any of them. I'm like, oh my god, yeah, this me is either. gonna be horrible. And they kind of grew on me. All of them except for Junior. Oh, I, I okay. didn't like Junior the whole way through. Uh, there was a black glove at the very end yeah. of the cemetery. I think it was Kyle. Yeah, okay. we didn't talk about that. There, there was someone like putting their hand up on the tree. Oh, I, I don't, did not remember that. I don't feel like it was Kyle because if it was Kyle, I don't think that they would have like shown a mysterious person. Yeah. But I'm trying to think who I would think it would be. Unless it's another person that Chucky had gone into or something. Yeah. I don't know. Absolutely. Or maybe someone that we're forgetting about from the movies. I don't know. I, I still wanted um, uh, the kid from Child's Play 3 to make an appearance. Well, maybe it's maybe it's him. And maybe be Devin's father. Uh, let's see. Would you guys like to see Glenn return? Are you talking about the um, Glenn Glenda? Is that the names? The kid, um, the kid Chucky. The kid Chucky. Oh, the Chucky's. Kid. I don't know. You kind of have to at this point. I mean, I guess it's something that they're saving for season two. But it's like you're bringing all the other crazy elements from all the other Chucky movies. So you yeah. might as well bring that in too. Right. Uh, what's the point of leaving it out? Would I like to see him return? I, I don't, I'm not really like super excited for it if he does, but you know, whatever. Like I literally do not remember him at all. And so was his he character was a big more aspect like of goofy? Seat of, seat of Chucky. Um, like, did he kill? I don't know. You see, like I've, I've seen Seed of Chucky one time, I think. You have to let us I don't know. even Did remember. The dog kill too, maybe what? I didn't even finish watching it, but like yeah. I just hated that movie so much is all I can remember. But apparently he's a big part of that movie, and he was in Curse of Cult of Chucky a little bit, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we've talked about how we need to go back and rewatch them for sure. Yeah, so I just I never cared to rewatch Seed, but I know he's yeah. a big part of that. But uh, yeah, let's see, I thought it was pretty creepy. Uh, yes, Nika. This is a random, but I recommend the movie Tick, Tick, Boom with Andrew Garfield. Mm -hmm. That's a great musical, and I wouldn't be surprised if Garfield gets nominated for his performance. Yeah, he's definitely one we need to catch, uh, check out. So I know we need to do a lot of catch up on our movies. Yeah, we, get out we do. Yeah, we haven't had a ton of time to watch stuff. Um, yeah, we'll try catching up on stuff um, leading into the end of the year, and maybe, you know, in January, we can start working on some like top 10 movies of the year, top 10 TV shows. We certainly watched enough this year to be able to put one of those together. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I have heard about that and, um, definitely want to check it out eventually. Yeah. Tick, tick, boom. I think saliva did the theme for it too. Oh. Um, and I'm just joking. Oh. <laughs> you don't well, remember that song? Saliva, oh click, yeah. Click, but boom. I didn't know that they did that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will watch <laughs> season two to the turn of melancholy. Will you watch the season two? Yeah. Well, we do a review for every episode of season two. Unless it just takes a turn for the worse and starts sucking. Um, we just got some stream girls in here. Uh oh, watch out. We're gonna we're gonna have to block them real That's quick. That's when you know you made it. <laughs> we made it big. Um, let's see. Naked. Watch. <laughs> I'm not even gonna pull that up. I actually didn't mind Andy's performance. They got them hot faces. Whew. <laughs> 
<laughs> it would be awesome. We're talking if, about Chucky here, okay? If the black glove person is Karen Barkley, you're talking about the mom, right? Oh, that's definitely not happening. <laughs> I don't know. Is she still alive? I'm, I'm guessing she's still alive. I would be really. I don't surprised. know if she's alive, like in canon or anything, though. I would love to see Andy's mom return. Uh, hey, Ken and Michelle. To me, season one of Chucky is better than the last Child's Play movie. That could have just gone straight to DVD. I think it did. Well, no, you're talking about the reboot. I like the reboot. You did? I like the remake. You Did you like it? Um, I mean, I can't remember it very well. I remember you were excited enough to go to the theater and see it without me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it with my two brothers. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. I think it was like, it was, you know, it was fine enough. But obviously, yeah. I don't remember too much about it. But I'm typically like that. <laughs> It yeah. gets pretty fuzzy quick. <laughs> so what were what were your, some of your, we can talk about like our favorite episodes. Mm, okay, I'm going to need. You want me to walk you back through them? I'm going to need help with that for sure. So we start with Death by Misadventure. Um, when Teen Jake Willer picks up and buys a vintage doll at the yard sale, his young life begins to change forever. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the episode where his father got electrocuted. Yeah, I remember the first episode, like, swinging right out of the gate. So, going all the way back to the first episode, mm -hmm. when you were done with the first episode, mm -hmm. were you pretty positive on the show? I mean, right out of the gate? yeah, overall, like, we talked about the the actors, the, the kids were kind of, I was like, oh, this is like CW, yeah. kind of corny. I don't know how I'm going to feel about these guys. Um so, yeah, o like overall, yes, but I was still a little iffy. Wasn't sold on it yet. What about you? I, I don't think you were either. Um, I, I liked it. I guess I was just looking for a little bit something, something a little bit more right mm -hmm. out of the gate. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like we got enough of the, the Chucky action. I mean, mm -hmm. he did kill somebody at the end of the episode, but I don't know. I guess it was a, a decent start, but I definitely didn't anticipate like all the crazy directions that it would have went in mm -hmm. um, from that point on. But yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, we got the, his dad's death. We pretty much got a death every single episode. Yeah. Which was pretty Something cool. else that we didn't talk about on our um, finale review was how at the end they had Chucky like sitting next to a, a fireplace. Oh, yeah. And they were like, he, he was like, um, was well, hello fun. there. I didn't see you there. <laughs> and he did like a um, kill count. He did a kill count. Yes. Yeah. So that was a lot like of fun. 19 or something. No, it was more than that. Was it I uh, thought, 20? I thought it was. Was it 21? Oh, it's because he got all those kills. Like, it in was the last 21, episode. I think. But yeah. I do. I did mean to check out um, Side Hustle Cinema's video. Yeah, was the kill count correct? Because he, I yeah, a chance to watch it yet, yeah, yeah, he, um, I guess was talking about that. So I don't know if he did a count, which I don't know if you could figure that out because based on the theater scene, you know what I mean? Yeah, like we we couldn't say you for sure how many he stabbed in the theater, but to count the bodies, like they they kind of panned out and showed like the. I full mean, they scope. did show him like he doing it. Yeah, but who's to say we didn't miss one or like maybe they didn't show all the ones he killed? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess uh, how. And surely the show. Would I know, know that how you don't know killed. about this, but there's a channel called Dead Meat, and uh, they do kill counts. Uh -huh. So for every for like a lot of horror movies. Mm -hmm. um, so how they handle it is, if it happened on screen, then it counts as a kill. So if you don't see it, then it didn't happen. Right. Basically, even though it might have happened. Yeah. Um, well, that's kind of fun. But if they find the body later on, then <laughs> it did happen. But. Somebody said, now every time I go to the movie theater, I have to look under my seat. Huh? I know. I commented on that when we were watching it. And I was because you were really scared to go to the theater for a long time because of the shootings. And yeah. Stuff. So fun fact. Um, fun fact. I don't, I, fun fact. I feel like I always say this, but um, our daughter <laughs> came down while we were watching that episode. And she watched the whole last episode with us. I'm we were sure. like, I was like, Ellie, like, you really do not need to be watching this. Like. Um, but anyway, so we're going to be going to see Spider-Man here in a couple weeks. And I feel like, I don't know if she's going to be thinking about the scene where Chucky was under the theater seats or not. Um, <laughs> but anyway, it's just kind of funny. Well, I am. I know that. 
Now our son, he's a chicken. He and he's older, and he literally has no interest in watching those kinds of movies. Yeah. If he saw that, he would probably have nightmares for a month, and yeah. would probably not even go to the theater. <laughs> no joke. He's a chicken. My daughter is yeah. my only hope for right. horror fandom in this house. Yeah, but anyway, so there's <laughs> but, that. Yeah. I did think I did like that the aesthetic of them playing Frankenstein in the background. I thought that that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was fun. I wonder yeah. what like the decision making process behind that was. Like, why Frankenstein? I don't know. I, don't I feel know. like I think that um, there has to be like some kind of. I'm sure that the to it. I, I don't know. I just can I get a word in here? Yeah, go ahead. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I feel like the creator or whatever. Yeah, I felt like he it, like Frankenstein may be one of like his favorite classics or something. And Could I did be. think it was funny the scene with the with the girl when the when Frankenstein throws the girl in there because I do remember when you watched it, you told me about that scene, or oh, I've heard you such talk. A jarring scene. Yeah, or I've heard you talk about that scene on a live stream or something. And so to like actually see that scene, and it was funny because Chucky too was like. Watch this. I love this part. Yeah. And so yeah. anyway, it was just, it was very funny. So. I like that. It's just such a, a weird, an awkward scene the way they, I don't know. It's just, I know it's 1931. And yeah. They probably never did anything. I can imagine it being pretty controversial back uh, when they did it, but he just throws her in the water and it's like, I expect her to like, at least come up, mm -hmm. maybe like start mm -hmm. swimming and like, maybe he pulls her out or something. And no, she just never comes up and he just walks away. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm like, but, oh my anyway, God. we're not talking about Frankenstein, but uh, I'm sure, I'm sure there's probably a reason why he picked Frankenstein. Just yeah. a classic, you know, uh, or maybe. Let's see. Turner Melancholy says a movie you two are dying to watch. Is there a movie we're dying to watch? Ooh. Is it Spider-Man? I mean, I think we're excited like everyone else <laughs> in the whole world yeah. to see Spider-Man. I'm not like dying to see it though. Um, There's a lot of movies that we have watched, and we're definitely going to be talking about them soon at some point. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have to do like a review catch up because there's probably like six movies that we've watched that we need to talk about. Yeah. I have been wanting to watch um, The Father for a while with Anthony Hopkins. Every time I, I pass that at Best Buy, like every two And he three, knows that I, I want to watch about it. it. All the time. He knows I want to watch it, and he clearly doesn't care. It's been on sale too. Yeah, so priorities, gone. right, guys? I did want to get it, though, because I yeah. like owning all the best pictures. But um, I heard it was good, and, you know, Anthony, Anthony Hopkins can't go wrong. Um, I'm sure, it, like, I've heard it's super, like, d like emotional and yeah. everything. I mean, so. he won the Oscar for it, so. Yeah, but anyway, uh, let's We're on Father Talk right here. now. But, yeah, Give Me Something Good to Eat was the second episode. That was the one where he went trick-or-treating with a Hello Kitty mask. Yeah. That was definitely um, one of my favorite episodes. That was also the one where he killed the housekeeper mm -hmm. by throwing her into the knives in the dishwasher, which was pretty cool. I can't remember how that show, how that episode ended. Um, but yeah, basically he just, Jake's just getting bullied a lot and he's kind of pushing him towards, Chucky's trying to push him towards the edge of like killing Lexi. Yeah. Um, they had, um, is that when they had the party? That's not the party. The The party is okay. that that's the third episode. OK, well, I know seeing Chucky dress up as Hello Kitty was like enough for me. I just thought that part was really funny. Um, and the whole scene where he like goes to the house and he's like trying to find the party that all the kids are at. And, you know, he gives the woman a apple with a razor blade and all that kind of stuff. I, I liked all that. And then we got, you know, some flashbacks in that episode and yeah. of like Chucky as a little kid and stuff. I just wish that, uh, you know, we'll flash forward a little bit more, but like Devin's mom, which I can't remember her character's name, but she obviously knew something was up. Like mm -hmm. you could just sense that the whole season. Like when that was the first like inkling of her knowing something was up was when she questioned that woman. Right. About and Chucky. now she's dead. So you're kind of like, well. So it's like, what was the that. point of that? Yeah. So that, that was one of my problems with the show. But um, I like to be hugged was the one with the party where the house burned down. You know, the infamous Chucky scene where he's dancing in front of the fires and the flames and all that stuff. That happened um, in the third episode? That was the third episode. Are you sure? That was the third episode. Yes, that was the third episode. The fire was the third episode. Really? Yeah. And then because in episode four, which Owen Movies is saying right now, the hospital episode is my favorite. That was, that was a good four, episode too. Yeah. Just really let go. That. And that was probably, I would say that that was maybe top three for me. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe top three. Yeah. So I, I like that one a lot. I like the death, the, the the doctor or whoever that that guy was that came in there the and shots. ate a bunch of donuts and then got yeah. shot. That I thought that was a cool death. Right. There's a lot of pretty cool deaths um, in this season overall that I yeah. enjoyed quite a bit. Right. Uh, but yeah, but the, just aesthetically, like the hospital episode was cool. I just like the way the hospital setting looked. Um, I like a good hospital setting in, ho- in horror movies. Anyway. I know you do, yeah. Um, but it just looks so like clean and pristine, uh-huh. uh, but also like a little dark and and ominous too. So yeah, I like the yeah. Colors. I I don't know. I talked about this before in one of in probably more than one of our reviews, but I just thought like the aesthetic of the series was really good. Yeah, like I liked all you know the setting and. You know, Just we talked about the opening, it. like every time it came on, the opening was really good. Oh, the I music loved, was good. I loved, they used yeah. different stuff every time, which was really cool. I love cool. the theme, the little theme song, yeah. which annoys me because it's not on Instagram because I've always wanted to add it <laughs> to our oh, really? stories. Yeah, I can't find that Chucky theme song. They have like the movie uh, ones and stuff. Well, you'll probably get it. But yeah, and then like you said, how they would make the Chucky name out of all different things, like things pertaining to the episode. Yeah. Yeah, now every I saw time that I go earlier. On the movie theater, let's see. <laughs> Favorite kill in the show says 4K Media Ooh. guy. Um, I don't okay, know. so it's... we got the electrocution. We got the uh, knives, the dishwasher. Um, I like the shot one. I think the shot one might be my yeah, favorite. Yeah, the shot one. We got the kid who got stabbed at the party. Oh, we got the principal that got decapitated. We didn't really yeah. get to see that happen, though. Her head I just liked, rolled uh, out. you know, one kill that I liked that wasn't Chucky. I liked, um, you know, when Junior beat his dad to death with a Chucky doll. I thought that was pretty gruesome and brutal. Yeah, honestly, yeah. That, that's probably up there for me. Yeah, but Chucky didn't do that one. Chucky didn't do that one. But he didn't say Chucky kill. He said favorite kill. Yeah, that's up there. Um, there was another kill. I'm trying to think. What other kills were there? So when they killed Chucky... And somebody posts this. I won't take credit for this. But somebody did an Instagram post. So uh-huh. in Child's Play 2, um, the guy gets killed by his eyes getting punctured. And then like the doll eyes are in there. And they did the comparison of him strangling Chucky and his ben, eyeballs popped out. I literally shared that on our stories. Well, good job. I can't remember who wow. shares stuff. Wow. Are you talking about me then? Did you do I that? I posted that? Yeah. I didn't make it, but I shared it. Okay, well, credit to the person that made it, and credit <laughs> See, to you for, for anybody, sharing. See, for anybody out there that wants to know if it's Ken running the Married with Media account, it is not. <laughs> oh, I got too many accounts. To Ken doesn't have time to, so it is all me on there. So whatever you see, I've posted it. Whenever you're talking to somebody, it's me. <laughs> Are you talking to Married with Media? You talking to Michelle? Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, I literally shared that on our stories a couple days ago. Anyway, I thought that was a cool comparison. I like the Chucky kill because I like the eyeballs popping out. I thought that was a And cool see, visual. I don't even remember that scene from the movie. Yeah. The child's play too, but anyway. But I um, saw that and I was like, oh, that's like, pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard. I mean, the woman <laughs> flying out of the window was pretty cool too. Yeah, that was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there were some good kills. I'll give it credit. That's some good and kills. And you had in the show. Devin's mom falling down the stairs and that wasn't really big of a deal. No, yeah, I don't know. No. The falling out of the building was pretty. Yeah. That was like a very what the F moment for me. I was kind of like, wow, did they really just go there? What episode was that? Because that might be up there with like my favorite episode as well. Yeah, we'll get to it. Was that the seventh episode? That one, or I believe, sixth? was. Uh, so we're going to get to episode five. So episode five was Jake and Devin progress their relationship. Enemies and allies from Chucky's past show. So episode five was the hit squad one. Where Andy and Kyle come in. Yeah. Um, and then I think Tiffany and Nika come in that episode too. That's where everybody comes into the show. Right. Actually. Yeah. Um, which is another thing I can talk about. And I think that we talked about it in one of our reviews, but I really liked how they didn't jump right into bringing back all the past characters. Yeah. Like they weren't like you had the phone call in episode one or two, mm-hmm. but that was it. And then they shut it off. And they allowed you to really get attached and engaged with like those kid characters, right? Right. Which I think really helped by the time that they brought the yeah the legacy characters. And I mean, in. I feel like th- I feel like that's pretty like on par with um, reboots. I feel like they typically do wait to bring back those like old characters. Sometimes they think? do, but sometimes they I've just lean right into them. it from the beginning. I feel like I've never seen them like pop them in there right away. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It just depends on what you're watching. Yeah, I guess. Depends on. I mean, Star Wars, and they had mm. Han Solo and Leia, and um, you know, the beginning of it. Mm. Just Star Wars, though. That's the only thing I can think of right now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody cares about Star Wars. Uh, but yeah, I, anyway, I just like that because they could have just. Yeah. All right. So one example I got. I got this in my head right now. When they did Better Call Saul. Mm -hmm. All right. The first couple episodes of Better Call Saul, you probably don't remember, but mm -hmm. they brought back Tuco Salamaca, which is a big character from the first season of Breaking Bad. Mm -hmm. They brought back, um, I think, the twins in that episode, too. So they were really trying to call back and bring back all these legacy characters from Breaking Bad in order to sell Better Call Saul. So there's your example. Well, I don't know if that is necessarily like that big of a deal. Yeah. Like they have to connect the two. Yeah, I understand that. But they didn't have to because it was a Because that was more of a like, hey, remember these guys? We're going to we're taking it back to like uh what they were up to so many years ago or whatever yeah, i don't true. know it's not the same as like having what's his name my god brian cranston what's his character brian cranston jesse what's his name though in the show uh walter white walter white jesus it's been so long since we watched that uh attorney melancholy says i thought chucky stabbing people in the theater was stupid yeah. wasn't he killing them by stabbing them in the butt yeah, yeah i said that too i was like how are they bleeding out their mouth but then again i was like well Maybe the knife is long enough to go up in there. I mean, I don't know if you got stabbed in the ass like that. Like, like how long is this knife? Maybe like this. So I'm doing the measurements. I guess. I mean, yeah, that could go right up in your gut. I'm, I, I guess. Mm, I'm imagining things. I mean, I'm mean, just guessing <laughs> so, the, the knife is about that long. That could go up. And in maybe your gut. it's like going like more in the back of you. I don't like, think it's like a in instant your like in kill. your kidney. You know, I don't feel like it's like an instant kill kind of thing. Uh, I feel like they would be like in agony for a little bit. And maybe. you know, we got the okay. So one thing that I was unclear of, Lexi's mom didn't die, did she? No, she made it out. She made it out. Yeah. And she's the one that you kind of want to die. Like she's a bitch. Yeah. And they did that. And purposely. her husband's dead now. So do you think that Lexi's mom gets redeemed, or better yet, do you think Lexi's mom had something to do with this? Because mm. she's the one that put this whole thing together. Is she working with Tiffany? Is that something that we could find out in season two? This is true. Just thought that but she's spot. definitely like we saw many times where she was just a nasty person. Yeah. So like she's to her definitely husband got that mean streak. And, and just, I don't think she really cared all that much when, you know. When well, he died? No, she did kind of screw. I mean, yeah. Bit, she like looked all. over because she like got popcorn and she saw that there was yeah, blood on the popcorn because yeah. he was like bleeding into the popcorn and he was just dead. Yeah. Maybe scratch that. I don't think she would have knowingly ate bloody popcorn. And she was she just was like, honey. And like, you could tell she was horrified. Yeah, and she that was, was like, pretty... she was trying to get out of that theater. Like, and that, she kept that... getting, getting knocked down by everybody or whatever. But that was a pretty gross moment. I didn't like, that was a good horror moment. I love Lexi's that. Yeah, that was a good death. Yeah. Uh, while watching Chucky or movies together, what snacks do you guys like? Ooh, we like all the snacks. <laughs> I mean, we like the traditional popcorn. Yeah, you know? but when, when we're at home, we don't typically make popcorn that often yeah, i like um he's lame he's lame and he likes nuts i like nuts pistachios almonds you know like that kind of stuff yeah um he also likes pretzels <laughs> i like, like pretzels. pretzel nuggets i like granola i like some healthy stuff but he likes he likes he likes dried cereal too just dry cereal yeah like he'll just eat it right out of the box yeah. Um, but like me, I like um I'm trying to think like what I snack on. I don't know, my like a bowl of cereal with milk is kind of one of my go-to snacks. But like if I'm being unhealthy and I don't care, like I like chips and I like candy. I like all the things. <laughs> I like chocolate and sour candy and fruity candy and yeah. So there you go. Uh, Owen Movie 75 says there's actually a party in episode two. It's the Halloween party. That's and what episode I thought. Three was yes. A party. I'm yeah, not talking so about the two. fire party. I'm talking about where she dresses up like his dad. Yeah, it's episode two. Well, I mean, there's just two parties. Yeah. yeah two party episodes. Yes. Um, correct. So they did a lot of partying in the beginning. I wonder what Chucky said in episode three to Lexi that they bleeped. I don't know. I don't know if I remember that. I don't remember a bleeping. I remember that. Silica88's here. Says, hey, everyone. What's up, man? How you doing? 
Hey, Michelle and Ken, sorry I can't stay, but I want to drop in and show my support. I will definitely be watching the, this on the hello, replay hello. later. So thank you for joining us, Lafke. I appreciate the support, Yeah, he's, he's always there to comment and stuff. Yep, all eight episodes are streaming on Peacock. I saw that. For free? Yeah, I guess so. Wow. We could have just waited and binged it all. No. Like how would we have no talked about every episode? Yeah, um, we ended up paying for <laughs> the episodes, yeah. but oh well. Well, we showed our support. Have you started watching Hawkeye on Disney Plus? No, we have not. No, we, we talked about that. Will not. Yeah, we talked about that a little earlier. Probably yeah. won't be watching it. Yeah, it's just not. Not our cup of tea. It's not. It's more not your scene. Like I will watch the Marvel stuff, but it's I don't know. I just don't want to talk about the thing that eighty-five million other people are talking about. I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I will like if it's something like Spider-Man, like because I'm actually excited. They're just for like doing all these like. Uh, spinoffs and stuff for like every single character in the Marvel universe, and it's yep. like I literally just don't even care about your side story. <laughs> like, like I didn't even give a shit about what's her face. Oh, watch your mouth, Black Widow. Okay, watch your mouth. Not a Scarlett Johansson fan here. Um, literally, when she would be in the scenes in the other Marvel movies, I would be like, ugh, because she's just not a great actress. Like, her, she has that like, like deeper raspy voice. Um, and so anyway, Black Hawk or Black Hawk, <laughs> Black Widow. Um, that's like, and then yeah, you got all these other ones. I'm just like, so you hate Marvel, but you know, uh, Marvel or Disney or whatever, they're we just, just got 20 people unsubscribed, <laughs> they're all about making the moolah, like they don't have enough, right? Mm -mm. Like, come on. Well, they lost a lot when their park shut down for a year, so they got to make it up. Nah. Uh, Kate Queer was episode six, and that was the episode where everything just yeah. broke down. Like, you know, Devin's mom died. Broke down. <laughs> Junior's mom died. Yeah, that was a great episode. Um, Just a lot of shit happened in that episode. Yeah. So, yeah, that I was a good episode. Yeah, Jake and his friends set a risky trap for Chucky that they could seriously. So that's the one where they were, like, setting traps in the house. That's where he snuck um, in through the fireplace. Which I did want to talk about this, but like we talked about it in the review as well. But using Kate Fear as like the reference for setting traps, like mm -hmm. was weird to me. But I guess like it kind of made sense because I was such a that. movie fan. But yes, we are. We literally okay. said the same thing. Yeah, I was just like, you know, Home Alone is right there. Yeah, but I feel like doing like Home Alone would have been like so on the nose. Yeah. And they did Kate. Yeah, but also just not like fitting for those kids. Yeah. They're they're not home alone type kids. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like Devin. Like or... you said, Devin, like he was clearly a movie buff. Like yeah. he had those classic film noir posters. Yeah. So he was definitely into that stuff. And so I think that it was fitting. Episode seven was the funeral episode. Mm-hmm. Um, where everybody was sad and stuff, and they had the, um, you know, the the big funeral sequence with Tiffany coming up, kissing his dad, right. which shut off Junior. It and Junior, yeah, that's what Chucky got. Did you think it was weird that Junior was so accepting to the fact that a doll was talking to him? Yes, I did. And that that turn was a little bit quick. Like he didn't. Even and I flinch. didn't. I didn't understand how he didn't think. Oh my gosh! Like this is what. Jake and them have probably been talking about. Yeah. Like, yeah, there was no discussion of that. It was just like he talked to Chucky like he was a literally normal person. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that was very strange to me. Which maybe he was so shocked. It was just, yeah, just I took think, it as normal and like his mom had just died. So yeah, just I think that he was definitely whatever. like numbed out a little bit. Yeah, but it just, that did feel a little strange to me. Yeah, I did for sure. With that. But, uh, and that, that was the episode where he beat his dad to death. So yeah, that was the that big was very ending brutal. sequence. And then Andy pulls up, which is a great cliffhanger for a finale. I thought that that was a great yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. penultimate episode to lead us into an affair to dismember, which was the last episode, which we've kind of talked about quite a bit. Um, the finale? Yes, the yeah. finale. Yeah, I thought the finale was a lot of fun. Um, and, you know, like I mentioned in the review... I felt like Chucky was pretty scary. And like we got a lot of Chucky in mm -hmm. the in the uh, finale. 
A lot of Chucky. Yeah, I thought that uh, Chucky was great in the finale. Yeah. Easily the best he was just in the like whole his, series. Just like things that, like his lawns and the right like the writing for him. The yeah. stuff that he said was just funny. Yeah. But like like it was also scary. I don't know. I got like he was scared. Yeah, was that was scary. That's vibes. exactly the kind of Chucky that you want. You want the scary and you want the little bit of comedic levity and yeah. Um yeah, I'm excited to see more of that in, in the second season for sure. But would you say that that was your favorite episode? Going through all these episodes, what was your favorite? No, it wasn't my favorite. The finale wasn't my favorite. Um, Was it Cape Queer? It seemed to be pretty high on that one. The hospital. It's hard for me to say. I guess, like, if you put a gun to my head, it would probably be the finale. Okay. I think that overall, I, I probably enjoyed that the most. But if you want, I don't know, Cape Queer yeah. was, it just felt like some stuff was going down in the show and stuff was ramping yeah, up. I'm, so I did enjoy that one too. Like I said, my memory does not serve me well always, but I'm going to probably say Cape Queer. Okay. I will say, I'll say the finale. Yeah. I'll say the finale, but Kate Queer is a close second. And then I would say the hospital one is yeah. um, my my third favorite. Yeah. What was your least favorite episode? Um, ooh, I'm trying to think of one. The first one. Mine was, I don't know. I, I don't know. I was going to say the seventh episode, but I thought it had a good ending to it. I would go. Probably the first one. Yeah, I would probably go the first one, too, which is kind of strange. I don't know. What, what was the third one again? The house fire? The house fire. I don't know. Maybe that one wasn't that great. Yeah, I'm trying to think about the other stuff that happened during that episode. I can't think of it. Yeah, I know. It's head. so hard to remember all the little things that happened. Um, yeah, but if you all have... That's why it's probably good to... I just spit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you just spit right in my face. <laughs> if you all have any favorite episodes, definitely, you know, let us know in the comment section. That's why it's probably chat. a good idea to, like, write down notes when you watch things. It is. Like, yeah. especially if you plan on talking about but it. But I feel like, like at this point, that's kind of the charm of us in this channel is we just don't prepare have, at all and we just come on here and we just talk. Yeah, if you want to call it charm. Yeah. But anyway. I find it charming. So, yeah, there you have it, guys. Uh, so, favorite character? I thought we already talked about that. Did we? I said that mine was probably Devin. Oh, we did, didn't we? <laughs> Are we done? I mean, besides Chucky, obviously. I mean, Chucky's obviously the favorite. Yeah. Who did you say yours was, though? You think, Would Chucky be your favorite? Does that count? I don't know if it should count. Have but, you watched The Witcher on Netflix? We have not watched The Witcher. We've not. Netflix. I've seen lots about it, but um, I guess we can go into before we wrap it up, like just our thoughts on season two and what we want to see in season two. Do you yeah. have any thoughts or speculation on um where this story might go? Obviously, we left off with Andy driving the Driving the chuck full of truck. I almost said chuck full of truckies. <laughs> chuck. <laughs> chuck full of truckies. Tongue tied. So, uh, the truck full of chuckies in so the yeah. Tiffany doll. So we know that Andy's probably not going to be able to destroy all the Chucky dolls. And we know that all of those Chucky dolls have the spirit of Chuck Charles Lee Wright. Charles Lee Wright, yeah. So I'm thinking, and Tiffany, the doll's name is Tiffany too, right? Yep. Okay. It gets kind of confusing for me. But we know that the doll has a gun to Andy's head. And she's like, keep driving. She's telling him where to go. I'm pretty sure they're going to the airport. So I'm pretty sure that those dolls are going to get sent out. I'm not really sure how they're going to, like, cover all of the, like, mass hysteri hysteri hysteria? Hysteria. Hysteria. That's right. um, that would take place having all these different Chuckies go into all these different homes. Like, I don't know how they would cover that or, you know, yeah. use that in the story. Like I, I could, I could picture in the first episode of season two being like maybe Christmas day. And like, I don't know where we were on the timeline. We got the Halloween episode. 
Is yeah. it Christmas yet? So like, what if, in the, what if in the first episode, it's like Christmas day and we see, we get a bunch of scenes of like all these kids opening Chucky dolls or something. Oh yeah. That's perfect. Um, if I'm right, that's going to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see all these kids like open Chucky dolls. And so then we know, okay, there's a bunch of Chucky dolls all over the place now. And I think the goal for Chucky is to get these, hopefully to get, to recruit these kids, basically. Yeah. Like he's going to want to turn them into killers if he can. That's that's how he hits the yeah. jackpot, basically. Yeah. He gets stronger the, the more kids that he gets to kill for him. So well, he's still not doing a very good job because the one that he thought he got, he, he yeah. didn't get. So, so I guess it's like, that's why we... he put out like 80 of them to right, maybe right. catch one. <laughs> right. So we'll see what they do. We, we'll see what they do with that. I think the big speculation is a lot of people were saying that the second season was maybe going to take place in another town with another set of Chuckies, with another Chucky. Mm. I not think, with the same kids? Yeah, not with the same kids. But I think that the finale of this mm -hmm. definitively answered the question. I think that it is going to include the same set of kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that it's going to be in the same town. I think it's just going to have different twists and turns along the way. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I don't see how you close out that, that story just yet. Yeah. But, I mean, I, mean, I you feel have junior dad, but you know, yeah. I mean, I feel like if they didn't bring those kids back into the picture, it would be fine enough. Do you like, feel like it close... was a definitive enough ending? I feel like it was them? like, it would have been enough. Yeah. But I'm hope like, I want to see them again. I want to see those kids again. I don't really yeah. want to get. Some new kids to get used to again. Or Maybe whatever. we like the new kids better. That's true. That's true. But I don't know. I, f I, f I feel like they'll be back. I say keep the kids and the kids. Because we saw, we saw like somebody talked about earlier, we saw that glove go up on the tree. Those people, that person was clearly spying on the, on the kids. Yeah. So I feel like there's going to be something. I don't know that happens. Yeah. So. I want, uh, I do want Tyler to come back, which is the kid from Child's Play 3, and reveal himself to be Devin's dad. I think that that's a character that we need mm -hmm. back. Yeah, I know you talked about that. Because uh, he definitely went through a traumatizing experience of his own, not unlike Andy from because the first in, two movies. Yeah, because like we know he lost his mom, but like he said that he was going to live with like his aunt or something. Yeah, his aunt. So, so they didn't really like tee it up for that. But no. I don't know if they have any interest in tackling that. But it's like but they I'm, haven't I don't I don't think they've mentioned a dad. Like I don't think they've mentioned when dad died or something like that. Yeah. So it's always possible, but like I'm pretty sure he said I'm gonna go live with my aunt. So Yeah. But. Um, let's see. My favorite episode is the last one, says Eternal Melancholy. And it also says, Would you two watch a TV series about Elvira? It it'll be on It'll be about Elvira trying to live a normal life, but weird things happen. So is is it announced? Yeah, is, is that, that like out? an actual show? Because I mean, Elvira. Or is, is that pretty like old. are you throwing an idea out there for a show? <laughs> I mean, I watched Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. I think the movie from like the eighties last year. Mm -hmm. I thought it was pretty entertaining. I've never seen it. I mean, um, I know who she is. I know what she looks like. She has the big boobs. And yeah. Do you remember the weird the, hair? the um? The motion control rod at uh, at our theme park, our local theme park, riding it when we were kids. And at Halloween, they would do an Elvira roller coaster. Mm, I don't think so. So that's like the only thing I knew her from before um, um, watching that movie last year, other than just knowing her as the, you know, goth princess with big boobs. Like yeah, I was going to say, you probably <laughs> know her as the big boob person <laughs> when you were a kid. Like, woo, titties. <laughs> I mean, yeah, come on. There you go. Uh, but yeah, we're done, guys. We're done with the wrap up. Well, you didn't of... answer. Would you watch a show about that? Sure. If it had, uh, you know, if it looked good, I'll watch yeah. anything that looks good. I'd probably check it out. I'll check it out. We'll talk about it. Yeah. Maybe do a Elvira wrap up stream Maybe at some point. I thought the teachers went. Yeah. So I was going to mention yeah, that, that quickly earlier. Went nowhere. That kind of went nowhere. They put her under arrest and then. They said she had a past. Yeah. I mean, it maybe it was just one of those things where it's like we all knew she wasn't the one who did it, but like they thought she was. Yeah. But I still thought that we might have been surprised and been like, oh crap, she was. But a part the fact of it. that they brought up she had a past mm -hmm. was the thing that was like. But maybe she's not gone. Maybe she'll be in season two. 
Maybe yeah, it was her. Like they showed her at the 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 cemetery when they were all like, you know, basically at all their parents' grave sites. Oh, they did? She was at the cemetery. I don't know if she drove them there or what, but like she was off in the distance. Oh, yeah, she was, she was wasn't like, she? Yeah, she was off in the distance. Interesting. So I did don't know what gloves character. she have on? No. I don't remember. Well, I, I mean, really if they remember. took her there, she wouldn't be spying on them, so... Yeah, it's an Elvira idea I thought about. Well, write it well, and pitch dang, it to somebody. Maybe Shutter will pick it up. You need to be writing a show right there. <laughs> but all right, we're going to wrap it well, up. Well, I got to say, I got to say, I am so surprised that our daughter did not <laughs> come down here. <laughs> yeah. Because the last few times we've done a live stream, she has come down here and I've had to get up. Hence why I'm on this side, if anybody noticed. Yeah. So I can escape easier. But yeah. anyway, so we made it. Yay. We made it. I thought we did pretty good. You know, almost an hour with no plan whatsoever. Other no. than let's go in there and talk about Chucky. Yeah. Just our thoughts. But now we're done with Chucky. We're done. We're putting we Chucky done. away. We almost became two. the Chucky channel there for a little we bit. We almost became a Chucky channel. And all so, of November was pretty much all Chucky. Yeah. Except for our Finch review. Yeah. We did a Finch review. It's pretty much all we had time for. You know, we wanted to stay dedicated to the Chucky reviews yeah. and didn't really have time for much more. Now but we got to find gonna... our, our next show to tackle. Um, and then we're going to do a wrap up on a bunch of crap here pretty soon. Well, I think too, I, I want to do, I think we might be doing like some much watch. Uh, Christmas movies. Definitely. Definitely some Christmas content. Want to Christmas do one of those. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah, that's going to do it for tonight, guys. Yep. Thank you all for joining us. And uh, we will see you all later. Yeah. Please like, comment, subscribe. And, yeah, comment down below your thoughts on the season as a whole. See you guys later.